this portrait of the church as a body. And he says there's no schism in the body. There's no competition in the body. When I was in first grade, I did something you should never do. I used my speller as a sled to go down the hill. Now, you know what a speller is. They teach you how to spell words, you see. Well, it made a great toboggan, but uh, did nasty things to the speller. Anyway, I was shooting down this hill, and a tree jumped out in front of me, and I put up my hand to stop, and I broke my arm. Well, I knew I wasn't supposed to do it, and I was afraid to tell my parents. So I carried my broken arm around for a while, till finally I had to tell them that I had done this. So they took me down and put my arm in a cast. Now I'm right-handed. I write with this hand, and I do most of the important things, feed myself with this hand and so on. The left hand just sort of hangs around, you know, and it's there as a support system. If I'm going to do up my buttons, it's the right hand that holds the button. The left hand just has the hole. Well, that's how it works, you see. My left hand's always there to support my right hand. And so my left hand said, aha, now is my chance to take over the body. This is it. This is what I've been waiting for. I will learn to write. I will learn to do these things. And by the time the cast gets off, I will be in absolute control of the body. Is that what my left hand said? My left hand was so glad when that cast came off. Imagine if my feet were always in competition to see who could be the first one across the street. Now that's just exactly what Paul is talking about when he draws this portrait of the church as a body. You're not interested in getting ahead of the other guy? Well, my hand says, my job is always just to put food in this mouth, and I never get to keep it, so at supper time, I'm going to hang on to the food. Well, what would happen? The whole body would suffer, because one member's not doing its job. The hand has not been designed to masticate the food. The hand has been designed to pick up the food and put it in my mouth. And the mouth has not said, well, listen, I just chew it up and then I pass it on. I don't get anything out of this. What do I get out of it? This is the great attitude among God's people today. I don't go to that meeting anymore because I don't get anything out of it. I don't do this or that because I don't get anything out of it. It doesn't meet my needs. The scripture says every joint supplies in the body that the whole body is built up. It says every part ministers to the need of the body. And then what happens? Does the hand suffer? No. Through the systems of the body, the hand receives everything that it needs to carry on and function if it only realizes the task that it has been appointed and does it for the well-being of the whole body. You know, the Lord Jesus is called the encourager. That's the word, the comforter. The Holy Spirit is called the other encourager. And the Father is called the God of all encouragement. One of the special ministries that is dear to his heart is the ministry of encouragement. And they minister through us and to us that we might be encouragers of one another.